So Pratik, tell me about your 30 ways in 30 days project. Um, well, I want to see how much like first and second graders can exercise, like uh, jumping jacks and that kind of stuff. And so far in 14 days, what successes or challenges have you faced? Um, I've gotten permission from the teachers and they let me use my students. Challenges, can't really do something or can't do much on the weekend. And I've made a website. And What's the address for that website? Uh, Lessexercise.weebly.com Thank you very much. Tony, tell me about your 30 Ways in 30 Days project. Well, um, my project is to um, find out more about the Nissan Leaf and um, we'll make a PowerPoint presentation about like just like how the Nissan Leaf works, why we should get the Nissan Leaf, and the effects of pollution in the air by cars. And I'm going to send that presentation out to everyone. So in the two weeks that you've been working on this, what successes and what challenges have you faced? Well, um, a challenge is that, well, I um, interviewed Devin Pike, but um, I interviewed him a little later than I um, had intended to um, because he was absent one day and he had music the other. And um, a success I had was that, um, well, was that when I interviewed Devin Pike, um, he said um, that I would probably be able to test drive him some. Congratulations. Thank you. So Frankie, tell me about your uh, 30 Ways in 30 Days project. Um, I'm trying to find uh, ways to reuse rubber because rubber, after it's been like our rubber tires, because after they've been used, they just get thrown in a landfill and there's no, no known form of dis, uh, like disintegration of them or uh, de decom decomposition of them. So, in, so you've been working on this project for two weeks. What are some of the uh, successes or challenges that you faced? Um, I've got uh, quite a few ideas on like like how to reuse them. Any, any challenges so far? Um, at first, I couldn't really think of any ideas or anything, but I've kind of got past that. So maybe I'm thinking of maybe making like a model or well, like using some of the tires to make uh, something like that. I came up with. Great. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Maya, tell me about your 30 Ways in 30 Days project. Well, I'm going to sell crafts like origami or drawings um, and donate the, the money to the World Wildlife Fund. And so far, what ex uh, successes or challenges have you faced? It's kind of tough coming up with like a mailing, a shipping, or ordering uh, process, but I finally got that worked out. But it'll have to be kind of for closer friends, like family. Have you been able to sell anything so far? I haven't gotten the word out. I've just finished my website. And what's the address for your website? Do you know? EcoOrgami.webstock. Fantastic. We'll be visiting that very soon. <laughs> so, John Blake, what, tell us about your 30 Ways in 30 Days project. Uh, my project is to just compost because I just don't think people compost enough. And I could probably do a lot with it. And so far you've had about two weeks to work on this project. What successes or what challenges have you had? Um, well, a success was just gathering all the compostable materials. That was the easy part, but um, some of the challenges was I tried to get a compost bin from my garbage company, but they didn't carry any. And so now I'm going to have to break my back uh, digging a hole. And uh, another challenge was just like procrastination. I meant to do it like yesterday, but um, I couldn't get to it. Well, thank you. Appreciate your honesty. <laughs>